So the Niners last week or whatever inducted Patrick Willis into the into their Hall of Fame. They have their own Hall of Fame and John Taylor. The the John Taylor thing um surprised me that he wasn't in there already. And it occurred to me I have no idea who's in the 49ers Hall of Fame. It'd be interesting to look it up. The whole idea is the Niners have this rich glorious past history that is so much bigger than the Pro Football Hall of Fame could ever capture. They should have their own. Great idea. It's the York's idea. They started this in 2009. There was an inaugural class with Joe Montana, Jerry Rice, Bill Walsh, all the heavy hitters, but they left a lot of people out. And so they're, they add like one or two every year as if they've like had an epiphany. And John Taylor made the cut this year. I don't know how he didn't make the cut the year before, the year before, the year before, the year before, but he made it this year. And uh, Patrick Willis said like, he's probably a first balloter. I don't know how long you have to wait before you get in the 49ers Hall of Fame. I don't think there's actually a, a bylaw here. It's probably just whenever Jed York decides the guy gets in. So what I want to do is tell you who's in. I, I did the research. Who's in, who's not, and who should be real quick. And then if you're inspired by any of these names and you want to come on and make an impassioned plea to Jed York as to why one of these, I'm mean, got 15 guys who should be in. Let me know. Otherwise we can talk about what you want to talk about. So first, the people who are in this sucker, Eddie DeBartolo, Joe Perry, the running back, defensive tackle, Leo Namalini, quarterback, Y.A. Tittle, Running back, Hugh McElhenney. Offensive tackle, Bob St. Clair. Fullback, John Henry Johnson. Quarterback, John Brody. Defensive tackle, Charlie Kruger. Cornerback, Jimmy Johnson. Linebacker, Dave Wilcox. Wide receiver, Dwight Clark. Quarterback, Joe Montana. Head coach, Bill Walsh. Defensive end, Fred Dean. Quarterback slash safety, Ronnie Lott. Quarterback, Steve Young. Wide receiver, Jerry Rice. Founders, Vic and Tony Morabito. Running back, Roger Craig. Wide receiver, R.C. Owens. Wide receiver, wide receiver slash kicker Gordy Salto. I don't know if I pronounce that pronounce that correctly. Sal, Saltow. I'm sorry. Vice President, General Manager John McVay. Head coach George Seifert. Defensive end Charles Haley. Fullback Tom Rathman. Wide receiver Terrell Owens. Defensive tackle Bryant Young. Wide receiver John Taylor and linebacker Patrick Willis. Great list. About thirty plus thirty one people on that list. Uh, I count fifteen people who aren't on the list and should be. Now, my dad and I started this conversation a few weeks ago with the Niners Pantheon. They have their own Pantheon. It's called their Hall of Fame. These people should be in there. If you think that I'm being too generous, I'd love to hear why. But I think these 15 people have claim to the 49ers Hall of Fame. And if the Yorks want to do justice to their to the history of a franchise they inherited, they should put the at least some of these people in. So I'm going to go through it. Starting with, I didn't put this guy in my article. Yes, I wrote about this yesterday. I didn't put this guy in the article. Frankie Albert, quarterback. He was, their, he was their first quarterback. He was their starting quarterback in 1946 through 1952 when Wyatt Tittle eventually took the job. Tittle is in the Niners Hall of Fame. Frankie Albert is not. Frankie Albert went to Stanford, 5'10 lefty, invented the bootleg. And he was their quarterback in their inaugural season. The Niners are, are uh, honoring 75 years of being a franchise. Well, what better way to honor 75 years than putting some of that honor on your first quarterback. This guy was a pro bowler. He once led the league in completion percentage. He twice led the league in touchdown passes, three times led the league in touchdown percentage, once led the league in yards per attempt. I mean, he was their quarterback before they were even in the NFL and then when they were in the NFL too. So Frankie Albert probably should be in there. All right, I got more I got more names. Uh, wide receiver Gene Washington. He played for the team for eight years, started 124 games. Average 17.8 yards per catch. Caught 59 touchdown passes for the 49ers. Third most in franchise history. Uh, behind only Owens and Rice. And was an all-pro three times, same number as Owens. I don't see how Gene Washington isn't in there. Offensive tackle Keith Fonhorst. Played for the Niners from 74 to 87. Started 160 games. Was an all-pro in 84. Won two Super Bowls. Are you kidding? Uh, Randy Cross, the guard. Played for the Niners from 76 to 88, started 180 games, went to three Pro Bowls, won three Super Bowls. Are you kidding? Uh, center Jesse Sapolu played for the Niners from 83 to 97, started 154 games, went to two Pro, went to two Pro Bowls, won four Super Bowls. Got to be in the Hall of Fame. Offensive tackle Harris Barton, 87 to 96, 134 starts, all pro twice, three Super Bowls. Come on. Tight end Brent, jo Brent Jones, 87 to 97, 127 starts. Four consecutive Pro Bowls, three Super Bowl rings. One of the greatest Niners of all time. How is, how is Brent Jones not in there yet? 
How is that possible? He's one of the best. I, hold on. I'm going to get that super chat in a second. I just, no StreamYard link. Oh, hold on. I'm not done. Hold on. I'm not done. <clears throat> Free safety, Merton Hanks. 91 to 98, 108 starts, four consecutive Pro Bowls, all pro in 95, 31 interceptions. Are you kidding? Fourth most in franchise history. Garrison Hurst, 97 to 03. Started 73 games, two Pro Bowls, rushed for 1,570 yards in 98. Uh, Jeff Garcia, 99 to 03, 71 starts, three straight Pro Bowls, 31 touchdown passes in 2000, 32 touchdown passes in 2001. Uh, last Niners quarterback to do that. Last Niners quarterback with over 4,000 yards. Underrated. Uh, and the, so those are the guys who shouldn't be, who should be in right now and are snubs. The following guys probably will be in soon, although. How is how is Justin Smith not in there? He's been retired since 2014. He played for the Niners from 08 to 14, started 110 games, went to five straight Pro Bowls, was an All-Pro in 2011, probably should have won Defensive Player of the Year that year. 43.5 sacks for the Niners, one of their best run defenders ever. I mean, come on, Justin Smith. What are they waiting for there? Navarro Bowman, 2010 to 2017, 74 starts, All-Pro four times, more than Steve, uh, Joe Montana and Steve Young. Both were all pros three times. I'm assuming Bowman will get in eventually. Uh, tight end Vernon Davis. I don't know if he'll get in eventually, but he should. Played for the Niners from 06 to 15. Started 136 games. Went to two Pro Bowls. Caught 55 touchdown passes. Fourth most in franchise history. That's a lot of touchdown passes. And then Frank Gore. I, I would guarantee he's going to be in eventually. Uh, 134 starts. Five Pro Bowls. Rushed for 1,173 yards. Most in franchise history by about 4,000 yards. So those are the 15. Oh, but I'm not done. Oh, wait, 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 wait. How about some non-players real quick? Bob McKittrick. Kids may not know who Bob McKittrick was. He was the Niners offensive line coach from 1979 to 1999. The entire dynasty. He was the constant. The best position coach in franchise history by far should be in the Niners Hall of Fame. How about Joe Starkey? Play-by-play -play announcer from 89 to 08. The most iconic play-by-play -play announcer in 49ers history by far. And then how about Ira Miller, the greatest reporter who ever reported on the 49ers? That's my 15. If you got more, I'd love to hear them. Okay, now it's time to hear what you guys have to say today. Okay, it's the StreamYard uh, link is in the chat and it's in the description. Click on it, call in. We can talk about whatever you want. This was on my mind yesterday. It's like you, you, you have your own Hall of Fame, and you don't have Merton Hanks in it. What's the point of having your own Hall of Fame? You have your own Hall of Fame, and Brent Jones isn't in it. What's the point? Come on. Come on. As Jimmy would say.